uh, how we should create a new account in App Store. I mean, new apps in the App Store. When you go to your App Store account, this is the URL, App Store connect.apple.com what you need to do is that if it's a new account it, you will see an empty page here first thing first you need to create the app bundle before you create the app because when you create the app here it will ask you a bundle id so what you need to do is that we need to create a new bundle so i also have um, my colleague here uh, dipesh um, he will uh, help us to navigate if if anywhere we got stuck um, so let me just create a new bundle it should be it should be just cuckoo uh, no uh Dipesh where should I create the bundle the first step go back yeah so no it should be under the certification so certification will be under the users the agreements no, 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 developer.apple.com. All right. That's why we need the page. Okay, developer.apple.com. Account? Account. Yeah. All right. Here or here? Yeah, certificates. Okay. Certificates. New certificate? Uh, identifiers. Identifiers. All right. Put a new one. So Dipesh, so we have a lot of option here, yeah? Uh, yeah. Just just quickly, like, like, what is this different thing and why we should choose this app ID instead of the others? And each, each having a different, uh, is for the different, uh, you know, different types of applications, like in the, uh, for example, apps.id, it, it's a common, common uh -huh. application which we are using for the all applications okay like if we if we want to choose the different uh, different function uh, different types of the functionalities like uh, in app purchase and uh, you know uh -huh, uh -huh, uh -huh. Okay. connecting the third parties with the uh, you know with the application like i i got it i got it yeah when i look at this i uh, i cloud containers yeah okay it says um, okay so there are like other application which uh, Apple has even their maps we can we can create application for it all right okay so I go to app IDs um, and then I create app so so the bundle ID is the important thing yeah should we follow so we can follow our same model we follow in the Play Store as well I mean in the Firebase as well where we create com dot the brand name dot app unique yeah is this yep, yep, yep. it should be unique yeah it should be unique and and this this format is fine yeah because this is the same format we are using for play uh in the firebase as well all right any capabilities i need to add yes which function uh, which capabilities you want to enable in this app yeah like uh, push notification okay uh where is push notification so for our app, what are all the things we need? Oh yeah, push notification is here. What, else? what else? That's it. I see. The Wi-Fi informations and all those things we don't need it. Yeah. And uh, and uh, we we have in-app payments. I'm mean, in-app subscription. Even we need an in-app subscription. We need to enable the Apple Pay payment processing. Yeah. Yep. Yep. Yep okay so maybe we can enable this now itself so we don't need oh, to create also also they are they are also providing the sign in with apple oh yeah so later we plan to integrate uh app store uh, i mean the, the apple uh, login as well which one i should yeah. enable for that scroll up scroll, scroll down scroll down sign in with, sign app. In with apple, the apple all right okay so anything else user management valid i think you know need that all right um com dot app um this is for cuckoo yeah. finish setting up we may need to configure multiple components okay yes okay. man for the for the do you know for the sign in with apple i see i see i see okay so can i go back to the developer dot con yeah yeah it's created yeah it's created yeah. Uh, do i need to create like a profiles or certificates anything else no 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 later we can okay 
All right. Um, what's next? I go to the App Store. The click on the App Store. Yeah. We okay, go to App Store Connect. I think it's loading. My internet is faster. It's just the Apple. All right. I go to my apps. Now I can create the app. Let's say I put it like this. Okay, uh, and I put English. It's just a English UK bundle ID is the one which I just created. Okay, I think SKU I can just put it. Don't oh this field is required. So can use the same thing, yeah. Same thing as the bundle ID. You can use yeah, you can use the same bundle ID. So full access, right? Okay. Oh maximum 30 characters. Uh, it's much it's a bit less than the skills. Okay, I'll just put learning skills for now. Okay, uh, as we are, uh, we can allow the Mac OS as well, yeah? As we are using React Native, we can just allow both. Yeah? Okay. What's next? Hitesh, so should I go back to agreements? No, no, app is a Okay, that's great. Okay, so after the you need to upload the app icons and you know screenshots. Sure. Okay. Other than that, other, other, if you want to, okay, scroll up, scroll up, scroll yeah. up from the build. Uh, yeah. Scroll down. Search the build build. Oh, build. Uh, uh, yeah, because here, here. There, there is no okay. build here. So when the build, when you push the build, it will be available here. Yeah, I mean when trade you push yeah. the build, it will be available here. Yes, sir. Yes. It will be first of all. It will be. It will, it will come in the test flight. Okay. From the test flight, you have to give the permission. Uh, okay. Yeah. After the permission, after the you know, uh, permission, it will show there. Okay. In okay. The build. All right. All first right. First of all, you will, first of all you will get there. Okay. In the test flight, actually, I, I in, in last time I saw that when we put it in the test flight, it's also available in the um app store uh, app store as well. okay okay all right anything else i mean uh, the the certificates profiles and all those things because let's say if if, if, if an uh, uh, account is an uh, um individual account uh, so just to share if uh, the, there is two type of account if it's an individual account only the individual uh, the owner of the uh, account can create all the provisioning certificates which are like um uh, profiles uh, other 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 things like no sorry distribution certificate yeah uh, but 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 if it but if it is a but if it is an organization account, you can provide the access to us. Then uh, we can create uh, all those things uh, for them. Yeah. Otherwise, they need to do this thing. So let's consider uh, now. Uh, uh, there is an individual. It's an individual account. They need to do this. Okay. Um, oh, oh yeah. I don't have the Xcode setup for it to do. So so in that case, so we will just ask them to send the access. You can send um, anybody who are watching this. You can send us the access uh, that we will try to log in with that access it will generate the OTP you can send back the OTP we will we will sign it and then we will create the provisioning certificates and all those things and, uh, and and prepare the bill to you that's it yeah anything else we need to cover here okay thanks Dipesh